Hi everyone, welcome back to Dead Space Remake. I am back where we left off and just as ready to have my heart fall out of my body. So, if you're excited as well, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's continue. I went in through here just to save and then I came back out. So now let's go back in. All right, we've got a bench. And I have, I think, just one node. So I've already done my HP. I guess just um, I've already done my damage. Maybe my capacity. Yeah, may as well. Okay. Lovely. All right. Let's go. Actually, what I do want to do is I want to up the brightness, y'all. Brightness. <laughs> I need it higher. It is too dark for how bright it is in here. Cool. Did that save? Yeah, I think it's a bit brighter. Yeah. Cool. Because maybe it's bright for you guys on the screen, but I've got two fat lights. <laughs> so. Continue. Hey. Making the virtual real. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Hell yeah. Now I can throw there bits back at them. Aim and circle. Good. Okay. Anything here for me? Nope. Okay. Huh. Horrendous. Okay. Hmm. Okay, can't put it any more that way. Could go that way. There we go. Okay, cool. I thought it couldn't. My bad. All right. Oh no. Got him off the line. They all came back. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. Use it to add to the weapon wheel. How do I... Equip. Okay, cool. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so now it's on my right. Alright. There we go. Hell yeah. In proximity mine, okay. Now 
locations. All right. I now feel less bad about saving because it's so quick. In the original, I'm like, all right, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm gonna save, but now it's so quick. Okay, medical. Let's go. Why won't it let me select this station? Oh, that's current. Flight deck tram control. Okay, I guess that's the only one I can go to. Flight deck tram control. Why am I here? You were chosen. Flight deck tram control. Okay. Medical. So I must sort of grab what I need to reach out. <laughs> Here we go. Barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. And Cole could be through there if. Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But. I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Yep. Truth Captain's rig. Destroy the barricade. Find a hydrolyzed tank. Security clearance required. Okay. All right, that's the way. I want to save up for whenever the next suit is available. moment. Effed up. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh 
boy. Oh boy. I'm not as good with this gun as I am the plasma cutter. Sheesh. Okay, let me change my plasma cutter. Yes, another node. Oopsies. Okay. Bench. Okay. First do capacity so I can then do damage. Out of me. Sheesh. Oh my god. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh god, I'm doing so bad. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay. This is time to use the big... I'm sorry, I did really bad there. Okay. Text log. Medical log, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying causes showing up in the environment analysis. Foodstuffs or radiation levels, I admit I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypo hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-g ther therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down, but nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy ma machinery. Uh, 
absolute nasty. G therapy. admire the view more but I gotta semiconductor good Holy moly, look at all these tanks. E. Exiting zero gravity. No sign of her yet, but I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. I'll try. Okay. It's gonna be hella baddies out here, huh? Entering zero gravity. Okay. Nope, oh, I meant to. Oh, there you go. Okay. Where'd you go? There you are. Ever to die. Okay. I keep doing that. I think it's I think it's L3 and R3, but it's L1 and R1. Not bad. Okay. A waste of time. Okay. Oh, I gotta go up. That makes sense. Cool. 
One more time. I even hate that sound, that's so creepy. Okay, oh. Nope, not you. You. for pulse rounds, that's good. Oh, I'm full. Okay, I can always drop and sell items. Alright, let me use my plasma cutter more, because I've got tons of bullets for that. Oh god, oh god, I just saw that in the corner. Oh, This way. Oh no, that's the way I went that other time. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Alright. Okay, let's save. Go to the shop. Cool. Um, let me see if I can sell some stuff. Cool. Action. Sell. Perfect. Yes. Alright, let's upgrade. Let's see how this looks. sneaking. I refilled my stasis before running through. Okay. 
Okay, impale, but where's an enemy? Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Oh gosh. No way to go. Okay. What? Hey. Ah. No, they do not give many healths, and I know I use them a lot, but... <laughs> Molly. <clears throat> okay. Okay, didn't miss anything on your bodies, that's good. Alright, let me have a look around. Tissue sample needed. Cool, now check this. Nicole, here we go. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. <clears throat> However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Good not for again. you. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Damn. Okay. Patient log, Dr. Brennan. Okay. Dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Transcript. <laughs> Thanks. It's just hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again. 
He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an en enemy of humanity. <clears throat> Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. But just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who... I tried, and her son tried so hard, but she... I will fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Okay, so she's referring to my mum. To Isaac's mom. Schematics for stasis. Lovely. There you go. Hell yeah. Bench. <clears throat> oh, I've got no nodes. Suit level 2 upgrade graph extended. Yes, good. Cool, but I have no nodes. <laughs> Where you at, you nasty? There you are. Sorry, bud. Ugh, crying. To Z Caswell from D. Leal. Clerical error? Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw Ensign Tate Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Here's your clerical error. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. Damn. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And therefore, and before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Right. <sighs> oh god. Damn it. Oh god. Oh gosh. Huh. <sighs> Another one. Whew. Oh, 
oxygen tank. Cool. Oh. Damn. Okay, shock pad. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. <laughs> Plant the explosives. Don't like all the ambient sounds. Okay, just thought there was something I could pick up. All good. Okay. <clears throat> Sheesh. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Ah, okay. Not bad. This way. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait, I didn't see you there. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Uh, okay, okay, both of you. Safe. <clears throat> okay. Planet the explosive. Take cover to detonate. Is this enough cover? Yep. We've run out of body bags. Damn. Of course. Absolute nasty. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Okay. Weapon upgrade. Yay. Bring upgrade parts to the bench to improve weapon and gear. Lovely. <clears throat> Security clearance required. Okay. Is also security. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Medical log. Doctor B. Warwick. <clears throat> Harris is asleep after another dose of sed sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than fifty hours of waking, regardless of circumstances. Not Harris. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Scarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans and Harris. 
and Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime, specifically that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This classic sociopathic behavior, <clears throat> but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans' murders, murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims an, the explanation is stuck in his mind, and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory, hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During his long walk waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak, and that he's attempting to make it whole again. That what that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of his case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. <clears throat> Move and transmit all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Susan. Maybe I have some cues we left. So dark. to remove the battery, okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So put it back to the lights. Oh, I already saw that. I don't want that. There we go. Okay. Credits. Lovely. Alright. How else can I turn off the lights? Security clearance required. Oh, actually. Do I put these? Maybe? I don't know. Remove battery, ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Yeah, so how do I... Oh. Huh. That's all I had to do. <laughs> my brain short-circuited. Why am I so stupid? Oh my god. Please ignore me. Oh my god. Ho. Oh. Come 
God. Let's get the heck out of me. Okay. That's what I get for being so stupid. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, I should have done. Hello? Oh, my God. No, are you kidding me? Come on, come on. Missy baby. Oh, God. Hold on. Oh, no. I have no more health. Crud. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on, just... You're kidding me! Ugh. No, I need health! Oh my god, you're actually kidding me. I need health so badly. <sighs> you're kidding me. I'm dead. Damn. One, you're nasty. Okay, that's you. Oh boy. Oh god. No, 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 no. Run. Okay, that's not what I wanted then. Okay, uh. Oh. Jeez. So intense. Okay, there's only gonna be more, isn't there? Maybe? I don't know. Yep. Oh gosh, you're so fast! Come on, you nasty! Oh. Okay, I'm doing better, I'm doing better. Oh! My gosh! Ooh. 
Oh god, there's another. Worth it there. Good. Audio log. Mercer, it's Terence Kine. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Hello? Great. Yes, stasis. <laughs> Save. Oh, yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, oxygen. Stasis packs. Text log. Medical log. It is my unfortunate duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the con to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test in indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophils in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam shown, showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple cons uh, contusions on the arm and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicate he, he was restrained likely for a brief period. Cause of death was single 
a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and into the frontal lobe, causing rapid ne neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been pres pres preserved for the investiga investi eh, investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. <clears throat> Not these guys. Oh. Wow. <gasps> Holy moly. <sighs> Oopsies. Okay. Calm down. Oh boy. Oh, whoopsies, I didn't mean to, I meant to stasis. this. Oh God. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait, no, stop, not running, there we go. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Stop it. Okay. Rig. Holy moly. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. <laughs> I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. That was a really cool scene. The same must have happened to Chen. God, maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Clearance confirmed. Good. Now level one. Security clearance. Oh. says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Okay. Medical log. Harris is. Oh, yeah, no, I've already read this one. Yeah, I already read that one. Cool. Okay. Is 
So now can I unlock all this stuff? Yeah, there we go. And then inside there. Ooh. Lovely. Clearance confirmed. Cool. Ah, level two. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Now I should have clearance for this. Clearance confirmed. Yay, node. I might leave this episode here that was so intense I really hope you enjoyed and if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will continue this in the next one pray for my heart all right bye